Hello, my name is Russell Parker, executive sous chef of Encore Boston Harbor. Today we're going to be demonstrating how to cut down a round fish or butcher a round fish. Uh, there are two types of fish. You either have a flat fish or a round fish. Butchering for each one is going to be about the same um, throughout all the species of round fish. So whether you're cutting a snapper or a salmon or a swordfish, it's going to be similar um, pretty much between all of those species. So we're going to go ahead and get started. A couple things to note of when you are uh, dealing with fish, when you're receiving and when you're buying your fish, there's a couple things you want to make sure of. Uh, first, that the gills are red and not brown. Eyes are clear and bright. Uh, there should be no smell of fish. So fresh fish should not smell fishy. It should smell like the ocean. Uh, you can buy fish that actually still has all of the insides in, but we are fortunate enough to have our fish vendor to have taken out all of the internal organs, so we don't need to worry about their, these when we're cutting the fish. Uh, these are something you need to remove prior to cutting down a fish, uh, because if you cut into some of those internal organs, they can contaminate the, the fish fillets. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started on this. This is a red snapper or a true snapper. Um, the first thing we're going to be doing is making a cut up towards uh, what we call the gill plate. So you can see this is the, uh, the gill right here. This is called the gill plate. Um, and then right underneath this, I can feel where it's starting to connect up towards the gill plate. And this is the beginning of our filet. Uh, so we're just going to make a quick, quick cut down here. I'm just going straight down. Now, I also don't want to force this through. I want to feel uh, the bones with the edge of the knife or with the tip of the knife, and I don't want to drive the knife through the bones. Uh, we did have some scales come off. We also received this fish already scaled, uh, which I do recommend scaling a fish is a very messy process um, and can really mess up your kitchen. So after I made this initial cut through down right behind the gill plate in the filet, now I'm going to make a cut right here along the dorsal. This is the dorsal fin right here. This is called a spiny dorsal fin. Uh, these are very hard bones. You have to be careful about these. They're very sharp, or very pointy rather, uh, and they can catch you in the finger if you're not paying attention. Uh, so what I'm doing is cutting down along this dorsal fin, and a, this is along where the bones come up from the spine of the fish into this dorsal fin. So this dorsal fin is a good guideline of how far up I need to cut. And I want to get every bit I've, as I can out of this filet, uh, especially when you're cutting smaller fish. Uh, if you make a mistake and cut up into the filet, uh, you're going to lose a lot of money um, until you can figure out how to cut it down right to the bones. And we're just going to work our way down. If you ever have a chance to watch a professional fish cutter do this, it's pretty impressive. They go about five times faster than me they would have had this whole fish cleaned already. So now you can see that this filet was cut right up against the bones. So those are those bones right there. And now this is the spine. So now that I'm down to the spine, I wanna angle my knife down a little bit because this, after, the, after you get across the spine, of course the spine is round and the bones are coming out from the top and the bottom. So once I get across that spine, I have to cut down a little bit to make sure I'm staying against the bones. This is just the head of the filet. So we're gonna get around there. You can see some other bones. We're trimming out right there, those belly bones. So right on the other side of this is where the stomach is or, or was before they cleaned it out for me. And then we'll go ahead and cut down through the skin. Again, I'm always being mindful of where my fingers are in relation to the knife. Uh, the knife won't discern between a fish bone and your finger and it'll cut right through either. So you can see here, you can see the bones where we cut right along the edge of the bone. This means I got as much of the filet as I could. So now we're gonna do the other side. So there's a couple different ways to do this. Um, this is my preferred method. So now I'm gonna start at the tail, whereas before I started at the head. So I'm gonna get a cut right on that tail and I'm gonna come up right along this dorsal fin. Now this is a little bit more challenging than the other side because I don't have the support of that filet. And also we have some scales left over. So the scales really mess with that knife. Um, scales are hard to cut through. 
So that was, that was what was preventing that knife going in. I'm gonna cut up by that gill plate again, all the way down through. And now I'm trying to feel again with that edge of my knife, the bones that are the coming up from that uh, spine up to the dorsal fin. Now I can, if you can hear that, that is the knife running against the bone. So I'm literally running the edge of the knife right up against the edge of the bones. And again, I'm gonna get down to that spine and I'm gonna angle the knife downward, the tip of the knife downward just a little bit until I get around that spine to get to the bottom part of the fillet. We'll cut and release off the end. Ignore the, that tail, we'll just trim that off when we're done. And again, you can hear the knife up against the edge of the bones. I wanna cut around those belly bones again. And if you happen to cut through a couple, that's okay. We're gonna trim those out when we finish up this fillet. So now that fillet is trimmed away, a little bit of tail left, but now you can see, I can see right through the fish here. So enough of the meat was gone um, that we can see right through and we can see the bones. There's just that little bit of meat left and that's all the way through the fish. Okay, now that we've set both of those fillets aside, this is what I'm left with. I just wanna address this really quick. We don't want, just wanna Put this right in the garbage of course um, we can use this to make a great fish stock uh, before we would make a fish stock we just need to make sure to remove the gills um, and then we could use this as long as you were cutting another say five to ten fish you would have enough bones to make a nice fish stock or a fish fume okay after removing those fillets i definitely want to use this fish like i said it's very good for a stock but i'm gonna need to remove the gills to do that so for that i'm going to use my good old trusty kitchen shears and these gills connect down at the bottom. I'm digging my scissors right in there to cut them out. We'll see that we'll get the top part released. Okay, so you can see that separated from the top. I'll turn the fish around a little. And then we're gonna cut all the way down along the edge so we can get to the bottom of where those gills attach. There we go. A couple little extra pieces in there. You have to remove all the gills. This is one part of the fish other than the guts that is truly just waste. Okay, now that we've finished um, taking the fillets off of this fish, we still have a couple things left to do here. So the first is I'm gonna have uh, some bones left in the fish. These are called pin bones. On a lot of larger fish here, we could actually take uh, tweezers or pliers and pull these out. Uh, this is a smaller fish, so I don't want to take a, a chance at damaging any of that, uh, that valuable meat we have right there from the fish. So I'm going to feel where those pin bones are, and I'm just going to follow right down those pin bones with a knife. You can even, again, just barely hear the knife touching against those bones. I really want to get right next to the bone because that's just more fish that I'm saving. Now here, I'm going to go on the other side, and of course I'm cutting through the skin on the bottom as well. So let's make sure this is all released. Okay, I'm going to cut that out. So now at this point, this fillet is completely boneless. Um, just for aesthetics, we're going to trim off a little bit of this um, meat right here from the bottom of the fillet. I'll just set that to the side. Um, now we have really a servable fillet. This, this can be um, trimmed down slightly on the tail. I'm not going to do that just yet and, I, and I'll show you why in a second. Uh, but here I could serve this as a skin on fillet. Um, so this is a, uh, again a great fish, a red snapper, a true snapper. Uh, so this could just get a marinade, salt and pepper, um, sear it off in a pan and then finish it with a sauce. One thing that's very important to note with uh, when you're doing skin on with a fish, and particularly a fish like snapper, is you're gonna wanna score the flesh. Otherwise, the meat or the, the skin's actually gonna curl up while it's cooking, and it will bow out the whole filet and it won't look very good. So to score the skin, you have to just get in there with your knife and you're gonna make small cuts all the way down this filet, but you really will just wanna get through the skin. Now, I also can't go you don't want to go all the way through because then you're going to have way too much heat getting into that 
fish and you want to get you want to decide to cook a little bit longer to get that skin nice and crispy you can see the separation in there this way the skin is not it's going to curl in little segments and it's not going to affect the overall fish okay so now this is ready to cook skin on it won't curl up okay we're going to set this fillet to the side and now we're going to grab the other fillet because a lot of times we don't want the skin on the fish at all so with this fillet, I'm doing a quick trim down on the belly. I'm going to find these pin bones again. So we trimmed out those pin bones. Uh, I'm going to leave this for here for right now. Um, what I'm going to do now is go to the tail of the fish because I want to remove the skin. This is actually very simple to do. I'm going to cut down with my knife. I'm going to get to the skin so the edge of my knife is touching the back side of the skin. And now I'm going to turn my knife at an angle. Almost flat to the board. Now, if you don't flatten your knife to the board like this, you can very easily cut through the skin and then getting back to that skin from the other side or trying to trim the skin from the other side is very difficult. Uh, what I just showed you is really the easiest way. A uh, quick final trim. Now this fish could be served just like this, olive oil, salt, and pepper. You could dip it into a batter. You could bread it. Um, but there's, you have all the options now to cook this filet however you'd like to. So that's how you cut a round fish. I hope you enjoyed the video.